So K1, what are the costs that are applicable generally for an organization if they want to look at disaster recovery in Azure? Well, compared to the, what it can do, it's really nothing. Um, the, um, there are two costs associated, three costs associated with that. The main one is whatever you're protecting, Azure or Microsoft calls it protected VMs. Whatever you're protecting, you pay a fixed monthly charge for that. That's roughly around 30 bucks a month. So you have 10 servers, you're paying $300 per month just to protecting them. And then the second cost is the storage of that. How much storage those machines have, you are synchronizing. So you are utilizing some sort of hard disk from Microsoft, you have to pay for it. But the thing is, you can play with that a lot while you are thinking or during the normal times, you can put that on a you know very cheap type of storages and very you know low cost hot HDD they call it type of storages and and that would be nothing like maybe just for the one terabyte maybe it's just five dollar per month some very small fees compared to the actual big thing but then when it comes to actually utilizing it and when it comes to say the disaster has happened that's when you have to actually turn them on and that's when the actual cost starts. And that would be similar to whatever else you are running in Azure, normal VM you are running in Azure, that's gonna um, apply to that. Uh, but the good thing is when, when you are doing the test, when you are doing those periodic test stuff, at those times, yes, you have to turn on those machines and, and that triggers the cost. But during those tests, you can just apply the lowest cost VMs as well so like maybe a very low spec VM type, which costs you 20 bucks per month, you can apply that to your most heaviest SQL server, which demands a lot of resources because you're just testing, right? And then that's not gonna you know, to, um, have any cost for you as well. So the, the biggest one is just that 30 bucks a month plus the storage and the storage, for example, for us within PA, for those 18 servers, not gonna be more than like 200 or something dollar per month. So in reality, we are looking at somewhere around 500 a month just to protect 18 servers.